Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocalescence and Choir Master Organist at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. And we are here in Guild Hall, this beautiful room at Plymouth Church that is used every Tuesday night by the Chorus of Vocalescence and on Wednesdays with the Chorus of Plymouth Church. So each day I've been selecting a different composer that has had a role to play with both organizations. And today it's a composer that of course I never met, but whose music everyone loves. And that would be the French composer Gabriel Faure. The foremost, one of the foremost of his generation he was the organist for many years in Paris at the Church of the Madeleine. He was director of the Paris Conservatoire and is regarded as really the master of the French art song, which they call the Melodie, the idea of a single thought that becomes, uh, that follows all the way through the song from beginning to end. He wrote, of course, that beautiful Requiem that people have heard many, many times. But he also wrote, like many composers, settings of the Ave Maria. And though the one that Guno wrote is the one that people seem to remember, uh, Foray wrote a number of them. And I'm going to play you just a little bit of two different settings of Ave Maria so you can get an idea that that text could be set in so many different ways. He, Foray, began uh, as an organist in his teen years. And one of the stories I love about him, he was raised in the city of Rennes, and he was organist there at this church, but was fired because during the mass, he snuck out of the church to have a smoke. Done. He later 
when he came to Paris, was the assistant organist before he went to Madeleine. He was assistant organist at Saint Sulpice, where Vidor, who you all know, that man, anyway, was the organist. So in this church, Saint Sulpice, beautiful church, when you go to Paris, you must visit. It's just an extraordinary place. So there is the big organ in the back, but there was also, also up front a small organ. And so they would sometimes do duets, Vidor at the big organ, Foray at the little organ. And what they would try to do, because they were doing improvisations, uh, each one would try to suddenly bring a new chord into play that suddenly the other person had to try to figure out what that chord was and how could they improvise moving from there. It must have been an interesting time to be there and hear a mass and hear this happen. So in 1887, Foray wrote the beautiful piece, probably the most well-known work of his, a piece called Pavan. And he wrote it originally as a solo piano piece, which is not what most people think. They all know it, and you all know it, for the being that it was an orchestral piece and it had an optional choir part, and it was that way that Vocal Essence performed it as the piano and choral version of last year in our season. So what I'd like to play is the beginning and the ending of the Pavan in its original form for solo piano. Have a wonderful day.